Richard Lovelady is going to join us here as he's walking up as a little a little change in schedule as we'll have Lovelady here. And then Luis Gonzalez of the Arizona Dimebacks will be joining us in just a little bit as I'm sure that uh, going over meetings, charts, players, guys you may face. How are you? Welcome to Ace Cast Live. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me. So you're just in there, right? So people, you know, you they won't see you guys, but the fans will filter in. They're going to watch the Diamondbacks take BP. What people don't realize is how much you guys study. Take us through, like, you just, you guys were out here for BP. You go in for meetings. What's going on? First day of a series. It's kind of like school. Yeah, uh, typically um, right after usually the last day of a, of a series, we're getting our notes, uh, PDF stuff, pictures, uh, hot charts, cold charts, stuff like that. Um, just something to, to go over yourself at home and, and do your own little kind of study, like you said. Um, but yeah, as soon as we get ready to start a series, if we haven't played a team um, yet this year, we will, after about BP, you know, a little halfway through BP, we'll go inside and we'll basically go over like their their hitting stuff. So uh, we'll take a look at their swing, their misses, uh, you know, where their hard hit contact stuff like that is. Uh, just get a, a, an overall, you know, game plan. Basically, how we're going to you know attack and who who might be, you know, substituted in if you know they lefty lefty. You know, they might not yeah. keep a guy in there stuff like that. Just see, so, you know, because we're always not caught off guard on. Oh man, I didn't really think about facing this guy. So I mean, it's always. It's always like a, you know, it's like a mind thing. It's just like who you're going to face. You know, you're you expected, you know, warming up, coming in the game, who you're going to have, you know, left, right, right, or left, right, left, whatever it might be. But that can change on the, you know, on the dime. It doesn't matter. They'll play matchups all day. And so you just want to always have, you know, who's on the bench and also their game plan. So, so when you're on the mound, how much do you all of a sudden, because remember, it's almost five o'clock. You were doing this 15 minutes ago. It's 445. Well, it's now 9.30 at night. Mm -hmm. It's been hours since you did these meetings. How much when you're on the mound are you thinking, oh, yeah, earlier today I saw his heat maps, I saw video, like how much? And Because I often wonder, how much do you pitch to the scouting report and how much do you pitch to what you do well? Right. Um, so a lot of it, honestly, if there's people you haven't seen before, um, you – you kind of watch the game throughout the the entirety of it. Uh, you know, watching, looking through iPads, looking how, you know, the scouting report that you just heard, obviously 15, 20 minutes ago, and you're seeing the starter come out and basically try to execute that and yeah. see how that's going. Um, and at that point, once you've already executed as much as you can, at that point, it's fight or flight mode. It's your strengths versus what they have. You know what I mean? You have to go in what you feel. You have to go attack a guy with what your best stuff is, regardless if, you know, they have good stuff. You know, they have good numbers against it. You got to always trust your stuff and go with your best. So, well, it's funny because when the when the cameras are on you, they make it seem like you guys are just all down there throwing sunflower seeds at each other, <laughs> having a rip roaring time. No, you're watching the game, preparing for what could be coming. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And it's nonstop. It's nonstop because, you know, like we said, it's starter can go four, starter can go seven, doesn't matter. And you always have to be ready for any situation and what. Well, who's going to come up and, and what really is their cold and their hot zones and where's that hard contact? That's that's the biggest thing for us is we like to stay away from that hard contact. You know what I mean? It, yeah. it match that with our strength. And that's what really helps us really be uh, really, you know, really good for ourselves, uh, allowing, you know, guys to get out of situations, guys to, to get the bats back in here and, and, and turn it over. So, All right, so years ago, when pitchers were planning on going seven, eight innings, bullpen guys, get a cup of coffee, you knew. Now, man, a guy can get pulled at any point. Just how different is it to where, I mean, let's face it, something happens tonight. It could be the third inning. Get Love Lady up. Let's go. I mean, you years ago, you guys were ready around the sixth, seventh. You know, you start yeah. loosening it up. Now, I mean, it could be at any moment. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, it's crazy you mentioned that because, I mean, it was like guys would – guys back then would go nine innings, back-to-back -back starts, it seemed like. You know what I mean? It was like <laughs> it was like bullpen taking a day off. two days off. Exactly. You know what I mean? And it, it's just – that's the that's the thrill. That's the, that's the beauty of, uh, you know, being in the bullpen. It's like you are the – you are the fire extinguisher. You know what I mean? So to speak, you are the guy that gets to come in – with pressure, like they, they always talk about, it, like you know, a lot of guys 
love coming in with nobody on. I I take pride in, in coming in with people on because I love it because I I want to I want to right away be on on top of myself. You know what I mean? I want to get the guy out. I want to do my job because I'm trying to literally get us back in here to start hitting. I want to turn the lineup over so that next guy that I know is going to come in behind me is going to do the same exact thing. So. Oh, man, it's chaos. Yeah, it is. It's absolute chaos when you're coming in. You're living on an edge, and when people talk, to, talk about the mentality of a reliever, and, and I try and explain to everybody, it's not like you get to, hey, run your poles. <laughs> uh, you're going to play long toss. Some guys like to throw the football. Yeah. Then you're going to, you know, you're, uh, no, it's eight pitches. Are you ready? <laughs> eight yeah. pitches. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. That's, that, that you know, and honestly, that's a, I think that's a, another thing that I, I'm, I'm really not, I'm not for that in a way as far as like as pitch clock for pitchers warming up. I think that's a, that's like a huge – that's an important part for us to get a feel for the mound because that mound's like – it's going to give you, a, you know, a basic of what that's going to be. But the whole feeling, the adrenaline, all that, that's eight pitches for me to get ready to do my job. And I don't think that should have a time at all. Cool, pitch clock during the game, sure. But warming up. That's that's important. I think that should be eliminated next year, honestly. At some point, I don't know when it's going to be. We got to do a long form because you're great at at, at 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 talking about the art of pitching. But I know you got to go, so let's end on this. Talk about the support that you guys have for each other on the staff. You see it down here when the pitchers are warming up. So whether it's starters, whether it's bullpen, you guys are all in this together. So talk about how you guys are like a support group for each other. You know, and that's the that's the beauty of it. Honestly, it's you look over up and down our roster. We have a couple of good guys that are that are balling out right now. You know, but we don't have we don't have that big huge name. That whole entire like God, this guy's making a lot of money. Everybody on this team is fighting for each other, and I love it because literally no one is standing out, so to speak. You know what I mean? Everyone is literally for each other. Every every time we go out here and every single game, every single batter, everybody faces gets out, we are rooting for each other because that's all we have is each other right now. And during hard times like this, good or bad, whatever it might be, it's a beauty behind it because we literally have that bond, and we're able to literally stick together through the entire season. So. Not a lot of people can live in chaos. Yeah. Some people thrive on it. Yep. I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> it's the edge. You bring the edge every night. Absolutely. Doesn't matter what city, what time zone. Absolutely. It's uh, it's a lot of fun to talk about. Hey, it's great to have you on the show. Seriously, at some point we need to do a long form. It'd be great. Absolutely. Good Thank luck you for tonight.